here which is this is Leticia here and I'm so sorry about these awful nails my son is in vacation I did not have much time to do this kind of videos while he is in vacation at home yeah that's it bear with me I wanted to show you this those are my last two projects from last year I really enjoyed doing this it really gave me a lot of happiness the project itself choosing everything that went inside of it they are still naked uh, I don't have anything for them yet there are not a lot of embellishments in these junk journals I don't know when I will actually start them yet <laughs> like I said my little one is with me full time at home this one was first place and it, this one was more of a let me see if I can do this kind of journal and this one was a second one because I really wanted to catalog everything that happened over Christmas this year and maybe for the years to come this other one it is really really special there's a lot of textile here and I did a lot of things I didn't have anything to put special here so I did it this way and I completely love it this is a stamp I have for ages and here I use some golden paste I believe this spine has two and a half inches and it is a six by eight and a half it is a rhythm spine it has like five signatures i don't remember how many pages that are in each signature and i did it with this great great tutorial from dolly from gypsy rose papery i'm going to put her link in the description below there's a lot of techniques that i wanted to try on here i'm going to link everything down below so yeah stay tuned this one i did it for my practice i want to start cataloging all the plants i'm working with but in another level not only witchcrafted related but also healing related i don't know if i ever told you guys but I truly want to find my way over herbology. I started taking some courses, I'm really interested and I want to start doing this as my main herbal grimoire and I wanted to incorporate all the little details and colors that are already in the fabric and it is a hard cover and this is a bit I did myself this charm it's not little but it is removable and there's a lot of things that remind me of dear things like there's a goddess here there's this little pomegranate that came from Greece there's this glass bit that I really love I have a, a red one and a, a brown one there's a snake here this is from Brazil, Lembrança do Coração de Jesus, this came directly from Bahia, this is a powerful spell guys, you don't know, I, I, if you're interested in knowing about this little ribbon, uh, tell me in the descriptions and I, I can tell you about it, this is great magic and witchcraft work that we do in Brazil this is ceramics and I really truly love this one and this is the tassel here's some vintage papers that I found from the time I used to live in Japan and some random cards that my son stop playing with and I'm going to put it inside also here's a card that I found in a book from the library once I asked to the librarian if he wanted it back and he said no you can have it so this is really appropriate I really loved it this is only um, a ship with color and I thought it was really beautiful uh, way to display color and there's the name of the color I love Matahari it's also purple which is one of the colors you're going to see here 
that are these little book corners all around and I got those over internet somewhere I guess I like Aliexpress maybe Amazon it opens totally flat because of the written spine I put some more of those discs here and some paper from the dollar store this uh, little ribbon I will put it in here somewhere I did a lot of sewing here and I totally did that using the ratio from Dolly uh, Gypsy Rose Papery the quantities of paper and how I do my signatures I will put links to all the things here down below there are some stickers some embellishments that I'm going to use later and all of this nothing fancy I got them all from wish or dollar store this is a blouse that I loved very much it is um, Indian cotton and it came directly from India for me and I really love this blouse but it was already so old yeah it was disintegrating <laughs> I wore this a lot and I didn't want to, to just throw it out because I loved it but I put it in here as a way to to remind me of those days that I really enjoyed every time I use it I love the colors too and I think it's all very botanical and goes with the the main colors of my book I used a lot of black paper too and there there are digitals like I said this one is a digital but I don't remember all the names by heart so I promise you I'm going to leave all the links to the digitals below I found this great book of ancient stamps from the post these are the stamps from Italy in 1970 I loved it and it is road wild if you're interested I can show you later I use tracing paper and I love because it leaves this great transparency I really love this like I said I was experimenting I did a lot of sewing it's not perfect but it gave me a lot of joy to do this there's a pocket here this brown paper comes every time I buy something from Amazon and a lot come wrapped in this brown paper I didn't want to to leave it to waste so I used it in here and even if it's torn like this I don't mind it's for me and I really like it I think it gives some character to it another digital with uh, a little sewing here and this ribbon I wore this ribbon for I don't know how many times it is so beautiful it reminds me of a um, dress I used to have when I was a little girl this one is really special and I thank you very much April from Pink Hot Bird because of her I did this this papers and I was really really happy when I did this more of the, that brown paper this is so beautiful and I have a, a book called something like what happens when the flowers dry it is a book only with dried flowers and I love this so much and I wore this for the longest and I just took the the beautiful flowers that I found that went well with this project and I put it in here and we have some poetry written sometimes here I have um, pomegranate and you all know I'm doing uh, workings with Persephone so I put it in here to remind me of her and this is this is a replacement card from a tarot deck that I will do a walkthrough and more of that crazy expression I did using doilies and a lot of colors and bleach later on you're going to see the bleach in action I had this um, transparent little tool kind of stuff and I liked it very much I, I think it gives such an effect here I love it so 
Uh, here's a, a bunch of lavender. I'm trying, you know, I, although I do uh, junk journals for a long time, this kind of junk journals, the way it evolved to uh, an expression of art, like the one Lucia did for me, it is something that was beyond me. and. I was really afraid to, to try and do it until I said to myself, you know what, stop being afraid, leave it behind you, for Christ's sake. I'm trying and uh, I'm having so much fun doing this, so much fun. That vintage paper, more of that shirt I have, another pocket, again with uh, a big butterfly. The butterfly is a very important um, insect for me. I love them very much. They are, they represent my animal totem. This is already the second signature, and this this comes from uh, a recollection. I will put the name. More of the recollection. I will put the links. I will put the names of it. Tracing paper that brown paper from Amazon and a little bit of just a little bit of that blouse more of that vintage paper here I have another charm this one representing the four seasons here is where that experimentation comes differently and I was using spray inks and some bleach and I had this reaction going on. I really love this. It gives a whimsical effect to the thing. This is another digital. I'm gonna put the name. The pocket here. One little embellishment here. I just adore this digital art. I also did some stamping. This is another digital art coffee dyed paper, pocket here, this is the other side of that paper and I really love how it came to be. This one is Greenwich, it's probably the only one that I really remember the name and I love this one. This paper is so gorgeous. Now from Monaco and inside is a little bit the same as you can see so i'm going to flip this faster this one is another one from my collection as well tag spot Tag something if you like, and another charm. So we are going for the fourth one. This one has golden foil. Digital paper with pocket, vintage music paper, a pocket here made with lace. This is another pocket here. This one was a bit upside down, more stamping with a big open up, more 
collection paper something I'm going to do with that more of that uh, old book paper with Nicaragua uh, stamps more of that beautiful blouse I love passing my hands here another pocket here love this this texture this this paper is so great so such a beautiful beautiful gorgeous paper look at here this is a notebook I did with an idea from Natasha from treasure books I'm going to link her her video to this idea of how to do this this booklet and I used uh, an old envelope to do that and I used just papers oh, look at that couldn't throw it away right and those were papers that were waste, wasting some wasting material really and I just didn't want to throw it all away and here is that that window and yeah it's not over yet it's not completely done I'm going to still embellish around but yeah that that's it for this book I hope you like it mm -hmm.